good morning everyone welcome back in my channel guys today I'm gonna show you how to flash system on Paukiri X55 there will be the same RGB 30 and other devices which one are supported by Rocknix. Rocknix is the next of Jellos project because Jellos is not supported anymore and the community of course doing all the things for us to get our performance better on our devices which one we buy in okay uh, i will put all the links on description as i'm always doing that and guys just remember if you flash in the system please use the good quality cards not something cheap because that is possibilities to have this system corrupted and it's gonna work slower as meant to be that's why I always use just good quality card first what we're doing if we have some card which one been used before we need to format that card just find format the volume I know it's simple but not everyone know how to do this then go down to your card then you've got format click format file system meant to be xfat don't use ntfs is not gonna work xfat that's what we are using for you can put the label name like you want but you don't need to format first we're going to uh, github which is the rocknik system we're just scrolling down until we have installation package downloads as you see is a few different devices already supported by the Rocknix, uh, included Pauki the X55, which one we're gonna do now. And as you see, we've got some R36S, but I'm not gonna lie, you guys, I tried for some reason it doesn't recognize my games card, even I use the proper folder names and everything, it doesn't recognize my Pauki the X55 is working absolutely fine is no problem just special for Pauki days here just click to download it's downloading now after download it I'm gonna come back okay we've got downloaded already that system as you see I, I downloaded before for R36S as by then I'm saying for some reason it doesn't recognize uh, emulators are all for me but Pauki the X55 is here after that we're going to Balena also that link will be for you guys to download it if you haven't got that's how it looks like Balena either just go there flash from file we have to choose that proper one Rocknix Air RK35XXX55 is that for our device double click select target uh, I've got just empty 128 gigabytes card uh, normally you don't need this one if you're using two cards just separate for uh, games card uh, you can put 16 or 32 gigabytes but I haven't got smaller one that's why I'm using that one select flash yes and it's going now you don't need to unzip anything the system itself will uh, decompressing this file as you see and now we're gonna wait just for flash that system as you see it's quite quick when you got good card I've uh, done before just uh, to check it if it's working or no on the older card and it took three minutes to flash which here on the newest card is just 22 seconds just you can also uh, think about that how is gonna work that system on your device if you got slow card ain't gonna be like meant to be it can slow down games and the system itself can be slower just remember that you need a quick card for that is already validating as you see job done everything is working just fine no problem at all tf1 is the slot for games that's my 
micro SD reader, always use the good quality one, don't buy the cheapest one because I've got examples from some people when the card was corrupted, when they flash or just copy some files. I have also, I destroyed my 256 gigabyte card, Samsung card before, and yes, because I had the cheapest one from AliExpress. Just buy something better, good quality. All right, now it's time to flash that system. I've got already card from Jellos before. This means folder structure is proper one. Just remember, if you have a R-Cos, for example, here or in different devices, the folder structure is completely different. Why? Because here on Jellos and also Rucknix, you're supposed to have a root folder names ROMs and everything is meant to be dragged down there. This means remember, you've got root folder ROMs and every single folder with BIOS and games and everything meant to be inside that one. I show in the previous video yesterday. Okay, it's time to build it up. Okay, LED is done on. As we see, Rocknix already. Just, we need to wait a little bit. System will create folders and files and will be ready to go. First boot up is always longer than normally, then just have a patience, guys. As you see, the date is from 11th of April 2024, is the newest one. The dark screen is quite wild. Don't panic in, don't think it's something wrong, you need to wait. Okay. As you see, straight away, the system recognizes my games and everything is working. It's just dark screen, you need to just put the brightness up, because it's really dark from beginning. System settings, let me put the brightness up, okay. I will check it if it's working fine. First of all, I will show you guys system settings, information. We've got just confirmation what the kind of system we've got. And let me see PSP game, for example, if it's working fine. As we go into GTA Vice City, for example. Okay, we've got some settings here. We'll go on one, frame skipping, and we can see. Listen, if plans change. Okay, everything seems to be fine. Uh, let me go a few seconds. I just want to turn off this radio. Come on. Okay, guys. That's the guide how to flash new system. Remember, Jellos is no more supported because they just stop it. When you want to have updates, just you need to change the system for Rocknix now. And yeah, that's it from me today. Thank you very much for your attention. Have a great day.